Power Play Game. Why do you seem so scared? All I wanted to do was play with you. Hi guys, Zodiac here from Chambers of Horrors with another 7 Days to Die tutorial and today we're looking at treasure hunting. So you'll find a treasure map at some point in your game and when you select it and the quest it will send you to a location which is shown on the map with a treasure chest. When you follow it the treasure as you can see here it goes from white which means you're close by to flashing red which means you're actually on top of the treasure however without any skills in the treasure hunting perk it's quite a large parameter and that's the point of this video for me to show you you know the actual parameter and why it's worthwhile investing all your skill points when you want to get the treasure uh, hunting so I'm not saying just you know just plow a lot of skills into it straight off the bat it's something you want to do eventually um, so we're gonna dig a perimeter show you how big it is when you add other skills and how small it ends up getting you get various things in the treasure chest schematics bullets um, quite quite a bit of, of loot usually so hold down square go over skills and all the way to the right I think it is page 4 or something is where the treasure hunting perk is so you need to make a shovel which you should know how to do already based on um, how long you've been playing the game for you need stone you need wood and to repair it you also need it uh, stone and wood so if you look around here that is the parameter at the moment it's flashing red because somewhere in there it says that is where the treasure is um, it is quite a big area and I'm running around here to show that there it's just stopped and this is with a skill point in the tree it's changed the parameter now what you might think is the parameters getting smaller it hasn't a certain point outside of the barrier is now flashing red where it wasn't before and inside is flashing red to a certain degree which is quite confusing confusing at one point when you go outside of the bar barrier it's flashing red and then it goes like if you look here it's red now it stops okay so that is where it's flashing red outside the barrier here and how it stopped again so that little lump just outside the parameter is it's now saying hey the treasure could be under here so what we're going to do is we've now ploughed all uh, 30 skill points into the uh, treasure hunting skill and we've now dug a new parameter and that little island here is where the treasure could be could be two blocks down it could be four blocks down which is a massive difference considering how how big it was originally that is the treasure that we've got you dig two to four blocks down you find the treasure and there we go 